Hello everyone, this is Daryl20 and welcome to episode 35 of Daryl20's Let's Play of ATM9 Skies, where I'm off ready to enchant some stuff. Uh, so basically I'm like disenchanting things. Now I should be able to get my add-ons here actually. But this is a little bit of a faster process. That seems cool. And you're disenchanted. Now if I ever need these enchants back, it's not a big deal because they're like all there ready to go, right? So not a big deal at all. Um... Oops, I didn't want to do that, but whatever, you get the idea. I don't know what I just lost, but whatever it was, wasn't all that important. Um, so I should now be able to enchant stuff, right? And we'll see like a bunch of cool things that we can get on our gear. Uh, some things are more common than others, right? Like repellent and icy thorns. So we're getting curses, which ain't great. Tombstone soulbound, also not great. Curse of binding, blast protection, rebounding, repellent. I feel like those two probably do the same thing. Uh, Curse of Binding, Curse of Vanishing, Repellent, Frostwalker. Now, what if I remove... This is me being curious at this point. But what happens if I remove you? Okay. Um, I might move this mana pylon. Well, yeah, I mean, I could stick it in the back here. <laughs> Hidey. Hidey hole. What kind of cool stuff do we get without... So like there's far less curses going on when 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 the treasure enchantments are there. I wish I had a list of what treasure enchantments are. Like what's a treasure enchantment? I don't even know. Uh all I know is that when we were looking at the apotheosis manual uh of which it's like a book or a tome or something. It's a thing. There's definitely a book for apotheosis. I don't know it when I see it. Uh, where is it? Is it Shadows? Is that what it's called? Uh, Chronicle of Shadows, Guide to Apotheosis. Hello. Uh, so if we looked for treasure enchantments, you can see how I looked that up, are special enchantments that are typically unavailable in an enchanting table. However, this can be remedied with a place in the bookshelf. Bear in mind that most curses are treasure enchantments. So I don't know if good or bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably hold off on it. Now we're still maxed out, right? All the way 100s, because all you do is minus a quanta plus arcana and allows treasure and chance. But we're still maxed out at 100 without this thing. So technically all he does is allow treasure and chance, right? That's cool. So this will get me blast protection and protection seven. I like that, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, you're gonna get me vitality uh reach mana regen a bunch of other cool stuff you're gonna get me some more mana regen bounding uh blast protection mana boost which is cool if i decide to get into stuff and that so generally speaking the way i play this is as follows um i will probably ditch this thing because i doubt that i need you much anymore but if i do decide that i want you i'll hide you over there and then the anvil can chill here Okay, and what I'll do is if I got a chest, do you think you'd let me insert an item that's not enchanted? I'm going to test this real quick. So what about you? Can you pull and then push to the same chest, right? Like, will you pull it in? And then you're not pulling it in because that's cool. Because it's already disenchanted. How cool is that? A little bit of automation, right? Now, the trick with the Library of Alexandria is that you can pull out whatever max level you stored at any point. So, like, if you put in a Sharpness 7, that's the max that you can pull out of here, even if you have enough Sharpnesses um, to, like, get up higher than that, right? So like, so, like, if we look at Sharpness here, we have, like, 28 points stored. So I could probably get a Sharpness 6, but, like, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, like, or we looked at like protection or something, right? Same deal. Like we might be able to pull out higher levels of it, right? So like protection. If there is a protection aid, I wouldn't be able to get it right now, right? Unless, unless I at least at one point put it in. Now what's cool is I can go do this again and I can extract some of this. Now you only have sharpness nine, scavenger three, looting and capturing, but I'm going to dump all that in there and let it get me a new sword so that I can like 
get more stuff, right? Now, at this point, where I have, like, nigh unlimited mana, or, or uh, unlimited experience, I'll usually grab just, like, a bunch all at once, enchant whatever I can enchant, dump all this stuff in here, let it disenchant, and, like, we're going to obviously need more books, right? And then, like, all the stuff will go into the library. I will do this a bunch of times. Generally, uh, some with Arcana and then some without. Okay? And what that'll lead to is a whole bunch of enchants that I can then be very picky-choosy about what I put on my stuff. Does that sound, does that sound cool? Right? So now all these guys are, are disenchanted. I can now enchant them again. And that would be cool. Oh, and we're going to need more lapis while we're at it, too. It's a little quicker to, like, close the window. It's, you know, a neat little trick. But look at all this cool stuff we're getting. I don't know what I got, but a lot of it looks cool. Ooh, projectile protection nine. That sounds nice. Blast protection. Look at this. It's like a ridiculous amount of, of enchants. It's so cool. All right. So we're getting like massive enchants coming off this thing. Um, you know, I don't know if we've gotten like a high level of looting yet. Uh, max level available six is the current level of looting that we've gotten, right? It's cool. Man, look at all the books. We're like we're like burning through stacks and stacks of books, right? I don't know if I can get that many. I wasn't. I, I didn't mean that many. Uh, we need more sugar cane. How are we for sugar cane? Hello, sir. I see you. I'm very excited that you're here. Excuse me. I have something I need you to hold. For a second. Yeah. I think what I'll do is sugar cane. You need to know how to make. Sugar cane out of these dudes. Cool. So now I should be able to get many a book. No problemo. I'm actually surprised I have that much leather. Though I believe leather has EMC, right? It does. So, not a problem. Actually. Like I said, to me, it feels like closing that thing is just a little bit better, right? Isn't that cool? I like it. Uh, now, should I, like, unobtainium my pickaxe? That's kind of a question. Is there an unobtainium pickaxe? There is. Um, mining speed 10, 10, 10. It's a little bit faster, but it's not ridiculously fast, which is good, because I don't like ridiculously fast, right? But I feel like I should maybe, maybe do that, um, right? Uh, template? Yeah, you. Give me, like, a few more of those. And we're going to want a netherite, right? And then we're going to want to upgrade you times three. And upgrade you times two. And upgrade you times one. And this. I forgot to grab these while I was doing this. And that was just quicker to me. Cool. So now I should be able to take you, you, and you. You, you, and you. You. And you. Cool. And then I can add pickaxes to my enchanting tricks. Cool? And we'll be back after I do that a few times off camera. Alright, so I've done a bunch of enchanting. I have no idea what I got. I'm just gonna wing it. Right? So if I toss this in here, if you put the sword in, you get all the sword enchants, right? So like, and if you shift click, you'll see it'll give you the max level. So like, I'll get capturing seven for my sword, right? Uh, and I could get Frost Aspect. Slows and weakens the target. That does sound kind of cool. 
That does sound kind of cool. Frostbite, chance to freeze enemy on hit. Oh, I like that too. Knockback, knowledge of the ages. Enemy drops are directly converted to experience. I don't think I want that, but I want looting, and the max level of that I can get is 7, which uh, somebody tell me if looting 7 is the max. It is, actually, so we're cool on that, right? Uh, chance to absorb beneficial effects from the target. That's kind of cool. Chance to apply bad effects. Reaper. What's that do? I don't know what Reaper does. Oh, it's Draconic Evolution description. Okay, I don't really know. Um, we definitely want Scavenger. I know that's a cool one. It makes them roll their loot tables twice. Significantly increases the chance of Reliquary drops. Well, I mean, who would I be to say no to that? Um, sharpness for sure, right? And 9 is where we want to be on that. Cool too. Right? We'll do it up. Fancy all the things. So if I do you and you, right? So sharpness, definitely. Capturing. Looting. Scavenger. Severing. That's a pretty fancy sword. Right? I would say so. Nice. And then we can do some other things. So, like, let's start with our head. Um, now, now everybody always tells me, like, it's better to just get protection instead of getting all the different kinds of protection. I don't... Is that still true? Somebody tell me in the comments. Is that still... Like, do you just want, like, four protections versus, like, getting blast protection and fire protection and all the other... Like, I don't even know. Uh, removes mining speed when not on the ground. I definitely want that. Uh, I only need one level of it, so that's cool. Uh, increases mining speed when underwater. Like, sure, why not? Uh, blast protection, fire protection. Ooh, icy thorns. That does sound cool. Increases experience gain when using the item. Sure, I'll take more experience any day. Magic protection, mana boost, and regen. I'm not doing much with Ars Nouveau, but we could always get these later if we decide we want them, right? Uh, and then, like, regular protection... Uh, repellent. No, I don't like that. Uh, Soulbound, Thorns, Tombstone. Okay, so that'll go onto my helmet now. Cool. And for chest plate, uh, become enraged. I like this one. This enraged thing is pretty cool. So I've liked that. I'm going to keep that. Um, don't want any curses. Fire protection, icy thorns. Uh, I already got that on my helmet, right? Magic protection, mana boost, mana regen. So I'll have to grab another protection. So I'll get all four protections and that'll be cool. Uh, I don't know if I like reach. It always, like, I'm used to what the reaching distance is, and when I have more than I should, it messes with my brain. Uh, I don't want any teleporting or pushing, but I'll take thorns, because that sounds like a fun one. Increases the maximum health. I will take that as well. Okay. Uh, now I'd wager that we're about to break the anvil, but that's okay. Cool. All right. Uh, now for you, uh, depth strider, movement speed one. Sure, why not? Right. I'll take that. Uh, feather falling, fire protection, icy thorns, magic protection, protection. Chance to trigger a spectral bite on an attacker. I don't know what that is. Negates the mining penalty for flying. I already have that on my head, so I should be cool. The thorns can stack on. Oh, I'll just leave it. Right? Um, finally, the legs, right? Um, I could throw another icy thorns on there. Sure, why not? Magic protection, mana boost, mana regen, protection again. Did I do protection on my boots? I did. So everybody's got protection. Cool. Rebounding and repellent, I don't want. That's fine. Realistically, all you really need is or want is protection. So that should be pretty uber. Now what's my, uh, this stuff look like? I don't need auto smelt. Ores may be found when mining stone. 
I don't think I want mining speed, at least not yet. Harvest additional blocks in a radius? Definitely not. Fortune? Yes, though. I will take fortune on this pick. That's good enough for now. And we'll decide if we want any kind of efficiency. I worry about, like, the insta-mine. Like, I don't like insta-mine on my tools, right? So for now, I should have, like, some pretty awesome stuff, right? Like it. Berserker's Fury seems to be like a, a diva, like a curse, but I'm okay with it because it makes you like really powerful. Okay. Uh, Dire is uber, uber, uber now. And when we get to like a Draconic Bow, then we can enchant it, right? Because I'm pretty sure these guys accept enchants and everything. So that'll be cool. All right. So you're all done. Honey things are done. Deep Shelf is done. Sea Shelf, Hell Shelf. Uh, I'm probably working towards the Chaotic Bow eventually, but probably not just yet. Now that we did that brief respite of enchanting, should we get back to uh, our quest line? Which I think the main thing we're working towards right now for Project E would be Red Matter. Now you'll notice that we just got access to Echo Shard. So this little side quest was not too much of a side quest because Red Matter, right? Uh, we are like three quarters of the way there. Hello, friend. Bye, friend. That's probably where all my leather's been coming from, to be honest with you. The llamas. Uh, so, red matter, right? To make red matter, we are going to need, um, unobtainium ingots, which we have infinity bajillion of, so I ain't got no worries about that. Echo shards, which I can get from the warden, uh, deep mob learning, hostile neural networks thing. Uh, dark matter, which is still a little bit slow of a process for me, so I should look into getting more dark matter if I can. Uh, and then plutonium pellets. So is it time to delve into the realms of mechanism and, and plutonium? So remember, the good news is it's not antimatter. Antimatter would make me very upset because that stuff is super slow and takes up in, like so long. But plutonium, not the end of the world. So I could, I could handle plutonium if that's what we need to be, right? Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm okay with plutonium. That should be like really pretty quick and easy to get. All we need to do is like generate you know nuclear waste in a fission reactor so like we spin up a fission reactor a simple small one should do right do we need antimatter for much i'm assuming we're going to need antimatter probably for the star right like is it fair to assume um antimatter let's see anti matter pellets so you're all mechanism-y thing. So we're going to need it for the improbability drive. Uh, so yes, antimatter is needed for the ATM star. But it looks like it's two pieces of antimatter. So like not terrible, right? And then um, that's used to make the ATM star, which is like your end game goal for this pack, right? Anything else antimatter? Um, not really. I'm cool with that. And then do you do anything in particular special? Nothing jumping out at me. So what I'm gonna say is we are cool with just two antimatter. So we will eventually need antimatter, but like we'll get the reactor running right now and then we'll go from there. Is that a plan? I think that's a plan. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think in my template manager. Right? Uh, I should be able to get my copy paste gadget here and paper. And save this little platform on paper. Okay. Uh, Platform extension. Platform extension. Cool. Now, if I'm not mistaken, in addition to that, um, somewhere on my computer, uh, where's my thing? Reactor. I think I have a, I have a turbine. Reactor. Can I load this in? There is a reactor. Ha ha. Cool. 
And then if I look at my copy paste gadget, it should tell me if I bring up the materials list, exactly what I need for that bad boy. How cool is that? A, A, is that cool? I feel like it's cool. I don't know, you tell me if it's cool. So now I can copy and paste my reactor relatively easily. Uh, so we're going to need to know how to make control rod assemblies from mechanism, okay? Now you know how to make most of this stuff. Lead we have, elite control circuits, you know how to make? Yes, so we're cool on that. All right, fission fuel assemblies. You're pretty good on that, but you're gonna need to make basic chemical tanks for that to work, okay? Fission reactor casings, shouldn't be a problem. Fission reactor logic adapter, also not a problem. Fission reactor port, also not a problem. And reactor glass from mechanism. Cool. So if I put you all right here, you should be cool to do that. Good. So now let's get, you know, what we need. So control rod assemblies, I'm gonna need 13 of. Okay, fission fuel assemblies, we need 52. Okay, uh, fission reactor logic adapter, I need two. Fission reactor port, I need two. Uh, fission reactor casings, I need 118. One CPUs are available. I need to make probably four more CPUs so that I can craft more stuff, especially now that I have auto crafters happening. That's gonna be a thing for sure, right? Are you running at max speed? No, well, there's your problem. I was like, why does this seem slow to me? Are you running at max speed? Eight and eight, so you know what I should be able to do. Just make sure everybody's full. Then you go back. Cool. Okay. So you need to be 120 ish more of those, and then reactor glass needs to be 96, so I'll make it 100. Now, my copy paste gadget should be bindable to here, right? So he's already bound actually, because I've been using it for the, yeah, so he's already bound. So once this is all done, right, uh, we should be cool. So let's go build a place template, uh, template, 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 and angel block, can I have my angel block? I may need to make another one. But as usual, I'm gonna build this like kind of far away. So let's go like due north of my base. Does north sound good? Far enough away that I can barely see it. That should be cool. And I'm not gonna worry too much about what the Y level is. Though what I will do is make sure that we are um, get building gadget. Might be out of stone, but that's okay. Bricks. We will do horizontal walls of bricks. Can we do this such that we are chunked? That seems cool to me, right? I'll just drop a few more down. So that'll be good, at least a good start-ish. Oh wow, you are already 
even without efficiency, you're like insta mine. I don't want you to be insta mine. I mean, I, I like insta mine when I want insta mine, but I generally don't want insta mine. Why are you insta mine? Is mining speed 10 insta mine? I might have to make a different pick. See, like, I didn't want to break both blocks there, but I did because it's instant mine. Okay. Uh, how's my auto crafting coming along? Are you actually auto crafting anything still? No, you're done. So I should. Reactor. Save. So now you're named at least. So if you're in paste mode and your settings menu are cleared. Cool. Look at that. I'm liking that. So I don't want you to be like completely aligned to the chunk. I want you to have like, let's say, I don't know how I usually do this. Is one enough, you think? One should be enough, yeah. You ever seen a faster fission reactor build in your life? I think not. All right, I know it's a little bit early, but let's wrap up the episode here and come back next episode. I'm going to teach the A system how to make all the turbine stuff, and then we'll copy paste the turbine into the world. That's not a good plan. Uh, but this should be cool because I think it, you know, it definitely, it formed. So that means like everything that should be in there is in there. So we'll get order going. Uh, we'll probably want uh, some kind of thing. Because uh, we're going to need like fluorite. We have some fluorite, but we could use more fluorite. Uh, but we can do fluorite essence. Right? So that's a thing we're going to want. Uh, probably yes, fluorite essence. Yeah. Uh, we're going to want uranium. We have a bunch, but we might need more. Uh, I forget the other stuff we're going to need off the top of my head, but I know it's not terrible. Uh, but for now, it's wrapping up point. So, Devil 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, let's also get ready with the turbine here. Um, that should be, if I get another piece of paper. Paste. And then we'll call this turbine and save it. Now, if we... Check that out. You'll see what the turbine looks like, right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then if we load that onto here, we can see what materials that's going to need. Awesome. All right, that'll 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to build a turbine. Uh, get going with some reactory stuff and all that good good times. All right, for now, that'll 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.